is the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2017. Hosting the Eurovision Song Contest takes months of preparation. From the moment the trophy is lifted by the winner, preparations for the following year begin. The Eurovision Song Contest has taken place every single year since 1956, but it hasn't always been easy. It don't come easy. Today we look at some of the more challenging contests that have taken place over the years. <laughs> Jamala created a moment when she won the Eurovision Song Contest, beating the big favourite in 2016, Sergei Lazarev from Russia. Despite early budget issues and a fairly late start with the preparations, Kyiv hosted the contest with three amazing shows. When the contest was held in Azerbaijan in 2012, it took place in the Crystal Hall in the capital, Baku. The stadium was built just before the contest, and while the first rehearsals took place, the finishing touches to the building were still being done. The main road to the arena was paved a week before the show, but everything was finished in time for the live broadcasts. Back in 1969, when the contest was hosted in Madrid, four countries won the contest. Spain, France, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom received the same amount of points, and with no tie-break rule in place, all four had to share the victory. Some participating countries were not too happy with this development and only 12 countries took part the year after in 1970, the lowest amount of participants in the Eurovision Song Contest since 1959. In 1971, Ireland hosted the contest after Dana's win in 1970. Because RTE was mostly broadcasting in black and white at the time, BBC helped RTE with camera equipment. Monaco won the competition in Dublin, but was unable to host the contest. The BBC stepped in again, this time as the host of the show and therefore the contest took place in Edinburgh in 1972. In 1973, Luxembourg won the Eurovision Song Contest on home ground. Broadcaster RTL did not wish to host the event for a second year in a row due to financial reasons. The BBC took over the contest again and staged it in Brighton. In 1980, Dutch broadcaster NOS came to the rescue. Israel had won the contest in both 1978 and in their own country in 1979. When Israel hosted in 1979, it was quite an operation, as they only broadcast in color for a short time before. To host the contest again in 1980 was simply impossible. The United Kingdom declined to stage the contest, after which NOS stepped in with one important condition. That most of the facilities of the 1976 contest, which also took place in The Hague, could be reused. The contest took place on the 19th of April, but as this was the Holocaust Memorial Day in Israel, the defending champion decided not to participate, which marked the only time when the winner of one Eurovision Song Contest did not participate in the next. The 1980 contest was the last contest that was not hosted in the country that won the year before. I am the voice in the fields when the summer's gone, the dance of the The 90s marked the golden years for Ireland in Eurovision. In 1996, Ireland won for the fourth time in five years. Having to host the contest so many times in succession put great financial pressure on Irish broadcaster RTE. Whilst there were initial discussions about joining forces with the BBC in Northern Ireland, RTE chose to go for it alone, organising a modern show which included top interval acts like Irish boy band Boyzone. In 2002, Estonia hosted the contest after winning in Copenhagen in 2001. It was the first time the contest moved to one of the countries of the former Soviet Union. Many media outlets speculated that Estonia would not be able to host a big show like the Eurovision Song Contest due to lack of finances and even hotel capacity. The Estonian government stepped in to guarantee the funding for the event and broadcaster ETV produced a near-flawless show from the capital Tallinn. 
The 2018 Eurovision Song Contest is still months away, but for Portugal, the contest already begun back in May. Stay tuned for more updates on the preparations in Lisbon.